Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arlene and I told you guys I was gonna be back with fun videos and videos that I genuinely love and wanna share with you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy. If you guys do end up liking it, please give it a thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys liked it and wanna see more videos like this. So yeah, I'm gonna be sharing this glow up that you guys see right here. You guys should have seen the before. The after right now is a total transformation and it was all using the Amazon bestsellers. You know like when you go on Amazon it says number one bestseller. So that is what I'll be sharing with you guys today. I really hope you guys do end up enjoying it and are excited about it, as excited as I am about it. Uh, yeah, let's not ramble on and let's jump into it. Right, guys, wish me luck because I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I do know I want to go for a dramatic look. Why not? Always go all out. Drinking a Starbucks latte. Grab yourself some coffee also because this is probably going to be a little long just because I'll be talking about every product as I go through them and try them out. Got my box of goodies right here. This thing is full. A few of the things I already had, but the, the majority I just bought on Amazon. Enough talking, let's start with the face. This is the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer in Neutralizing Green, which I actually didn't even notice I got. I thought I was just looking at it. I didn't realize I put it in my car. Okay, so this is very green. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, this feels really silky. It reminds me of the Benefit Professional, but a little more like watery. So for foundation, one of their best selling products is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. I actually already owned this, so I didn't purchase it on Amazon. I have mine in the shade 230 Natural Buff, and I still find that it's a little too like orange and a little too dark for me, but I'll make it work for this uh, for the sake of this video. I do absolutely love this, so I already know that I am gonna really like it, especially for a drugstore foundation. Like this is one of my all time favorite drugstore foundations. But to go with that, I have a fun little guy to try out. This is the Zenda Naturals Beauty Sponge. This is their number one best selling uh, sponge or like beauty sponges. So I wanted to see if it was like a beauty a beauty blender, a dupe for the beauty blender because I have never found like the perfect dupe. I found some that are amazing and great um, especially for the price I think I don't know how much this was it was probably under ten dollars everything will be linked down below but looks identical to the beauty blender let's go wet it okay I wet it and it expanded and it looks and feels so similar to the beauty blender let's actually put it on my face and see how it works okay it's not as soft as the beauty blender it's a little more dense like it's definitely like heavier it's not as pouncy as the Beauty Blender. Still pretty nice. I don't know if there will ever be an actual Beauty Blender dupe. So for the sponge, it does do the job and it does feel really nice. It just, it's not gonna compare it to the Beauty Blender in my opinion. Um, the face makeup you guys can see looks so like nice and matte. I love matte makeup and full coverage, um, but it is a tiny bit dark for me, which I already knew. Moving on to concealer, one of their best sellings is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, and there were so many shades to choose from. This one looks very, very like salmon-y, and it looks super pink, so might be a good thing for color correcting, because I am going to probably use this one on top of it. This is the Maybelline Age Rewind. This was another one of their top selling um, concealers, so let's try them both out. I've heard so many things about this, and I've never used it, so oh yeah, this is like, look at that. This is straight up pink. Okay, I'm gonna use this to just like color correct. Oh my gosh, and it is so thick. So thick. Oh, I'm gonna take that same Zenda sponge. Okay. Ooh. This is kind of remind me of, I think it's the Becca under eye like correcting concealer. Oh my gosh. That actually blended out so nicely. Okay, that totally just brightened up my entire under eye. I was not expecting this. I thought this was gonna be a total fail when I saw it. I was like, okay, this is like, like straight up pink. Um, but the shade is Classic Ivory. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Maybelline Age Rewind. On top of that, this is in the shade Light. I love this concealer. Is this, this is one of my holy grail like drugstore concealers. You just can't go wrong with it. Ooh, we am looking ghostly. And moving on to a super fun product that I've been wanting to try for so long because I've seen so many people rave and just talk about this. This is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, this is just the shade Translucent. Wish me luck, wish me luck, here it goes. Okay, my memory card filled up as I was trying it, but 
So far, so good. It has a really strong perfumey scent. It kind of smells like old lady-ish. Like, I don't know. Something about, I'm not digging the scent. I'll tell you that much. I don't even know why it smells like anything. That's enough of that for now. I'm not sure if it's gonna compare to my Laura Mercier translucent powder, but to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Fit Me powder to go with the foundation. This is also in the shade 230. So I'm just gonna set everything else in place. Um, for bronzer, I couldn't find their best-selling bronzer, so I'm just gonna go in with the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is one of my favorites, so just going to bronze up because I am looking ghostly. For blush, one of their best-selling was the Milani Luminoso, which I do have once again, which is why I didn't want to repurchase it. And I can't find it. I do absolutely love it. If you guys have tried it, you know what I'm talking about. But today I'm using the Milani uh, Romantic Rose Powder Blush. This is another one of their top selling bl blushes. So, just going to apply this to my cheeks. Yay, it looks like I'm blushing. For my highlight, I have the Maybelline Master Chrome in the shade 100 Molten Gold. This is another one of their top selling or like top rated products and I've been wanting to try this so I was so excited when I saw it. I was like, heck yes. This color and shade just looks like something I would wear every single day, so. Oh yeah. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, loving that. Moving on to eyebrows. This is the e.l.f. Gel and Powder Eyebrow Kit in the shade Medium. I'm gonna start with like the gel side. Put this on the brows. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am such a dumb. I totally forgot that I bought this Anjou makeup brush set. 16 pieces. Okay, it comes in a nice little package. This is like a nice, solid, sturdy little case. Ooh. Okay, there's a mixture. And they're like rose gold and they look really pretty. This feels so soft. Ooh. Feels soft. I like it. Let's finish up the brows with this little guy. So it's just a little slanted, thin brush and I'm gonna go into the powder side now and fill in the rest of my brows. Okay, so the powder side has a bit of a reddish tint that I don't really like, but the waxy side, I really, really like that. Moving on to the eyeballs, I'm gonna take this Anjou really big fluffy brush to put all over and their best selling palette was the LA Girl Nude. So let's see. Say how dramatic we can get with this nude palette. I'm gonna start with the second shade right here. It's this lightish pink mauvey shade. Just gonna place this all over the crease. So far so good. I'm not getting like a ton of fallout, which is what I was worried about. I'm gonna go in to the fourth shade right here. It's one of their only, there's like three matte shades. The rest are all pretty shimmery. Since I do want that dark outer V, I'm going into the Sassy Siennas by Dose of Colors. And I'm going with this like darker burnt orangey brown. Okay, for the lids, you guys don't hate me for doing this, but this is one of my little tricks that I've been doing. I used to always wet my brush uh, before I apply like a glittery or just like a shimmery shadow. Now I've been using the Nude Sticks. This is the Magnetic Eye Color in Immortal. So it's just like a darker bronze. And this is just gonna make the color stick on so easily and just be so pigmented. So I'm gonna do that before I apply the shimmery shadow because if this shadow doesn't stick to this, and I know that it's the shadow that sucks because everything that I've used, and I've used so many different palettes, will really just adhere to this. And these are kind of pricey, but if you want a more affordable option, I know NYX has a ton of their jumbo sticks and those act like a base, so you can try those out. And now I'm gonna dip into this kind of like gunmetal, darker, bronzy color. And it is looking beautiful. back into the Sassy Siennas to blend a little bit. 
Continuing with my Dramatic Eye Quest, I also got the Press Glitter by Beauty Glaze, which was their top seller for like glitters. This one down here is calling my name, so, oh yeah. Oh yeah, this looks, this is a straight up glitter. I'm just gonna actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is definitely a chunkier glitter. Guess I asked for it, huh? I asked for dramatic, I got dramatic. I'm gonna go into that same brownie color and put it under my eyes. Okay, for eyeliner, I did get a super cool, it's called Doc Doe Color. Not sure how you pronounce it, but I thought it was really cool and it was like a bestseller, so I was like, okay. Do my, ooh, okay. That is some liquidy ass, I like that though. This is a liquidy, whoa. So pigmented. Moving on to mascara, I have the Voluminous Carbon Black. This used to actually be my holy grail, so I am familiar with this little guy and I see why it's a bestseller. So I'm just gonna coat my lashes before applying falsies. Coated my lashes and I must say that after retrying this eye again, I do prefer the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So if you guys have ever wondered about these two, then this one is a winner in my book. Moving on to lashes, one of my favorite things of any makeup look, lashes will make or break your look. So these are the Arison Lashes, Arison, I'm not exactly sure how to say it. Um, I got these on Amazon and they're supposed to look like that 3D slash meek effect. This box is exactly like all of the other super expensive like Lily lashes and um, all those other luxury lashes. So this one, ooh, this looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, and I actually saw like some questions on there of people asking if this compares to the Lily lashes um, in the style Miami, because Miami is one of like their best sellers and I've owned a few of the Miami lashes in the past, which I absolutely loved and I feel like these would be a good dupe. Like, not as long as them. Well, we'll have to try them on, then I'll, I'll let you guys know. Okay, here's a look with the lashes on and I am obsessed with these and yes yes they do totally remind me of the Miami lashes which are like I think $35 and these ones were like under 15 so third of the price totally a good dupe like the quality of them is amazing maybe not 100% up to par to like the Lily Miami lashes but close enough and when you're paying a third of it like I do highly highly recommend these so I am freaking obsessed. I'm gonna go stock up on these and get like a few more pairs. I'm just gonna go with my everyday lippy recently, which is a few different products, but the first one is I Love Sarah E by ColourPop um, Lippy Pencil. It is so pigmented and it was super affordable. Then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Vibe. So it's really pretty nude pink. So I'll wear this color alone, but recently I've been liking <laughs> I've been liking the dose of colors. I think this is toast. Yeah, toast like in the middle. We can throw down the hair. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this look. I think you guys caught on to which ones were my favorite things, but just to recap, some of my favorites are definitely these lashes. Like I'm gonna go stock up. The brushes are a great, uh, like cheaper synthetic brush. They are super soft, so I do recommend them, especially for the price. I see why they were like a bestseller. So I do like these. I give them a thumbs up for the price. I personally wouldn't invest in other like amazing brushes. That's just me personally, but that's also because I play with makeup like every single day. The air spun, I'm not a fan of the scent. It was really strong and I felt like it looked really white. I don't know, it doesn't compare to my Laura Mercier once again. Oh, the Master Chrome, love this. Love this and the lashes so far are by far the biggest winners. What else? Maybelline Fat and Poreless, amazing. Fat and Poreless. <laughs> Maybelline Matte and Poreless, amazing, amazing. I love this, I've been using that for a little while. And then the e.l.f. Uh, brow duo thing, I do like the wax side, I do not like the color powdery side. Definitely is a little too red for my liking, but I do like this product overall. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, I'm smacking things. If you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, like I said. Um, make sure you guys go subscribe to my vlog channel that me and my hub husband started last month, so go subscribe there. Uh, that's it, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.